Harry Dunn has uh, arrived as the club's new chief scout. Uh, tell us a little bit about Harry and what his role is going to involve. Well, first and foremost, he's been with me for six years, and uh, I think in football you need people with you that you can trust. You know the league, uh, and his knowledge at this level of football, uh, national, north, and uh, the national league itself is fantastic. He has a great experience as, a, as an ex-manager himself, being very, very successful. But he's at the right age in life now, where uh, you know he, he's out and about, and uh, what he doesn't know is not worth knowing, and uh, his contacts and. Uh, his work ethic towards uh, York City Football Club will, will be a magnificent sort of uh, opportunity to get somebody with that calibre in the work with us. How important did you feel it was to, to get a chief scout in position? It's key, it's, it's, no, it's no different from signing a goalkeeper or centre forward, you need the right people on the ground and the people that you trust and that has an eye for a player and, uh, and also knows uh, the opposition as well so you know we, it's something that we work very hard for ourselves Myself and Dave Penny on looking to put a real strong, strong structure in place. Uh, you can't do ju with just one scout. Uh, so you know we we look at now to sort of build that side of the the, the, the scouting network up. Okay, so uh, Harry, welcome to the club, the new uh, chief scout here at York City. Uh, tell us a little bit about your role and what it's going to involve. Well, my role will chiefly to bring better players into the club than what we've got at the moment. Um, I've worked with Martin for five, over five and a half years or so, and we've always worked on that principle that uh, we've always got to look to re improve, and, and that's certainly going to be my role at this at, uh, at York City. Um, I'm hoping at the end of the day that you know we can bring better quality players into the club and the club can move forward. Yeah, it's uh, a role that you've got plenty of experience in, having done it for the last five years at Darlington. That's correct. Um, as I say, we started off with Martin five years ago. Uh, we didn't have any players, so obviously the first thing we had to do was get a team on the on the pitch, um, which we did quite successfully. But having said that, we've always worked on the basis that we've got to get better uh, week in and week out. So my role basically is to go out, um, use the contacts I've got, uh, use the experience I've got of, of certainly this league, and uh, and hopefully bring better players to York City. Apart from looking for new players, will you also be uh, looking at the opposition ahead of uh, first team fixtures? Yes, always. We'll, we um, will be uh, certainly having a look at the, the opposition the week before we play them. If I get the opportunity to watch them uh, during the week before we play them, I'll also take that opportunity because you can't leave any stone unturned. We've got to know everything we, we know about the opposition, anything we can use to our advantage. So over the, the, the couple of seasons or so that we've been in this uh, in this Conference North. Obviously we've seen all the teams, know a lot of the players um, and just make sure that we don't get caught short on the day. I guess the uh, the job of being a Chief Scout involves a lot of travelling, a lot of miles on the clock. <laughs> <laughs> well it's, uh, it's, it's normally, uh, it can be up to four, day, four nights a week. It's certainly all day on a Saturday because uh, I'm not one of these who as a look and think so, it's two hours to get to the ground. Um, I like to be in the ground at two o'clock. I like to watch the teams warm up. I like to see as much as I can about the, the players we're going to play the following week. Uh, that's as well as doing my homework on them before I even get to the ground. So it is time consuming, but uh, I thoroughly enjoy it. And for those who aren't aware, just, just tell us a little bit about your past because you, you've obviously managed for a, a, a long time uh, around these leagues. I have. I've, uh, I started off with Bishop Auckland many years ago. Um, had a, about a six or a seven year spell with Bishops, and then I moved on to Whitby. Uh, had nine or ten years with Whitby, and then I went up to Blythe. Had a couple of years there. Um, had two spells with Blythe, and I went back again to Whitby before I decided that my managerial, managerial days are, have gone forever. Um, I'll leave it to the younger guys these days. <laughs> And just tell us a bit about your relationship with Martin. Uh, did you first meet him at Darlington five years ago? No, I've known Martin for, for a long time. Um, we grew up just around the same uh, villages in County Durham at Furriel and, and Trimden and whatever. So I've known Martin for a long, long time. He saved me bacon many years ago and I was at Whitby. We were struggling badly. Martin was reserve team manager at Darlington with Dave, I think, at the same time. And he happened to lend me a couple of players um, and they got, out, got us out of a sticky situation. I kept my job for another 18 months or so. So, you know, I've always had, uh, we've always gotten on well together. We've got the same principles in football. We like to win. That's the main thing. We both like to win. 
and when I got the opportunity to come and work for them when we were going to start the, the project up at Darlington, um, I jumped in, I'm more than happy to do it and, and we've had a fair amount of success since then. And how excited are you by this opportunity at York City? Well, I mean, you know, York's a, a big club, an ex-football league club as, you know, up until a couple of years ago. Um, it's full time, well, not that I'm full time, I mean my work is usually on a night and, and all day on a Saturday as I say. But uh, the fact that Martin decided it was a venture worthwhile uh, undertaking and he asked me to come with him. I've come down, I've met the lads, I've met uh, Jackie McMahon, the, the chief exec, um, and I've been very impressed with what I've seen so far. So I'm more than happy to jump on board and, and uh, do the best I can for the club.